All right, for this video, I'll be showing you how to use Docker to quickly spin up a local Kafka instance and then interact with it via Kiwi Kafka. If you've never used Docker before, I would suggest checking out my video in my description where I show you how to download it and get started with Docker to stand up a Postgres database. As you can see in this Docker Compose file, I will be using three images. The first one is our Zookeeper instance. For Zookeeper, you're using this because it's used to help manage Kafka brokers, partitions, and notifications. For Kafka 2.x versions, you need it. For Kafka 3.x, you can actually get it to work without it. The configurations we're using here are pretty basic. We're just going to expose the port, so 2181, and then we're also going to indicate what network this Zookeeper instance will run on. So we're calling our network uh, Kiwi Kafka, as you can see down here, this is where I'm actually creating the Docker network in the Docker Compose file. Next, we have our Kafka instance. So for this one, we need to expose two sets of ports. One will be our internal port and one will be for our external ports. And then we also need to assign our Zookeeper instance and how it can connect to that, which we exposed port 2181 above. Next, for our internal and external ports, you can configure the key value pairs for security protocol to use. So for this one, plain text will be fine for local testing. So we're just gonna say our internal plain text, our external is plain text as well. And now we need to assign the ports for the internal and external listeners. So 29092 will be our intern, or yes, our internal and external will be 9092. We're also doing that for the advertised listeners, as well as assigning what the name of our internal listener is. In this next configuration property, you can optionally create your topics ahead of time. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to have two topics, which is incoming topic and outgoing, outgoing topic. And then you can also set the number of partitions and replicas for those topics as well. Lastly, I'm going to disable the auto creation of topics and assign it to that Kiwi Kafka network. For our final image, we're using Kiwi and the default port is 8080. So I'm just going to reassign it to 8081 because when I use uh, Java Spring for my apps, the default is 8080. I tend to keep it there and I just don't want this to run on the same port because I will show an example in future video on how to connect it to a Java app, but for our example here, I'm just showing you that you can reassign the port and that's what I'm going to be doing. And then we also need to let it know the port of our Kafka instance. So we're giving it the internal port because it's running on our network. And lastly, to make it run on the network, we need to assign the network, which is again to that Kiwi Kafka. All right, that is our run through of the Docker Compose file. Uh, in order to run that, you just need to be in the same directory as that file, which in this case, it's in our Kafka Docker folder that we're in. So docker-compose-up-d. And if you don't have the images downloaded, here's where it would download them. And since I already do, it's a little bit quicker, but for you, you're going to probably see it download the images for the first time. It says that it has uh, finished running all the instances. So now if I do Docker PS, you can see that it is running all three images, the ports they're running on. And the next step we're going to do is open this up in the browser. And I'll just show you a quick little run through of how you can use Kiwi at a very low level to read or write to your topics. And then, like I said, in future videos, I will show you how you can end up connecting a Java Spring app, as an example, to your uh, local instance of Kafka. All right, so over here in the browser, as I said earlier, I'm running this on localhost 8081 because I reassigned the port. And you can see a little bit here of basically what is available with Kiwi Kafka. You can take a look at the brokers. You can see the topics here. We have incoming and outgoing topic, as those are the topics that I created. There's a little bit of information about the replication count and the partitions. And then if we go to the consumer groups, you can see consumer groups here. And 
here is where you can post a message to a topic. So I'm going to go ahead and post a message to uh, incoming topic. I'll just use a random Kafka key. Uh, I'll skip headers for now. And then I'll just make it say, hello, incoming, and send. All right. And now when we go to Kafka Get, we can actually read from our incoming topic. So go ahead and read, and you'll now see that message that I posted, hello, incoming. And we can stop reading. If we try to read again, it knows it's already read this message. So it functions just like any other consumer for Kafka. This just allows you to read or write to your uh, Kafka nodes, as well as get some other information. All right, and then, uh, you know, there's also this other tab for Kafka download. This is if you wanted to download your messages, you can get them in different formats, whether it's CSV or JSON. And then there's links to uh, GitHub and Docker if you want to just have access to more about the Kiwi image that we're using. I would highly suggest reading their documentation, especially if they update anything or you want to try out any different configurations. Feel free to go check that out and read that documentation. It'll help a lot for understanding what this tool provides. But overall, that is a quick run through of Kiwi Kafka. Standing up Kafka instance via Docker and how, you know, this could be very useful whether you are have a full-blown um, Java app that's already ready or another app that's not Java but interacts with Kafka. In general, this allows you to run it locally so that way you're not hitting your actual Kafka instances in, uh, you know, another environment. This allows you to just run it without spending any any money as well. Let's say you, you don't have, uh, you know, funds to pay for Kafka to be hosted somewhere. This allows you just to quickly spin it up with Docker, get started, try some things out, see how it works. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Please take a moment to like and subscribe for future content.